What's good YouTube, it is Digital Hustler back with another video y'all and look in today's video I'll be showing y'all how are y'all able to make y'all mock-ups So boom, 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 or even just this Alright, so with that being said y'all, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for this whole video I'll be help, you know, help y'all with y'all process of making y'all mock-ups for y'all clothing brand I wanna just say thank y'all for 1,000 subscribers y'all <laughs> The journey has been amazing uh, One of my first video ever that I made about clothing brands is almost at 20,000 subscribers 20,000 views man 20,000 views a thousand likes. I really do appreciate y'all for real, but Let's get into this video y'all. I don't want to just ramble. I don't want to just talk. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to pay for Photoshop Adobe Photoshop look you don't you know you came to the right place. I got y'all. You know what I'm saying? I got you You want to go ahead and head to either your laptop or I believe you can do this on your iPad if I'm not mistaken and go to photo photopia.com and pretty much this is the software that we will be using to make our mock-ups It's literally the same thing as Adobe Photoshop, but it's just free All right, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to new projects and then just you know Pick whatever and then click create because what we are doing is we're gonna go to the brand Bible Dot us and we're gonna get our mock-ups PNGs, right? So they have blank hoodies. They have t-shirts blank sweatpants and they have even some more stuff down here but we're not focused on this right now, right? We're gonna be doing a blank hoodie mock-up for this hoodie right here. I'll be showing y'all, you know, how I'm able to make this blank, literally step by step, with this free software, right? That anybody can use. So what you will do is you'll basically look at the blanks and decide which one you like the most, and then you will save it to your laptop slash complete, you know, slash computer slash iPad, you know, whatever you're using. Yeah, yeah, what we're gonna do is when we're gonna come over here and we're gonna get this red, right? Double click it, click save, and from there, it just save it to my laptop. And then we're gonna go get the other one also. I don't know why it sent me back over here, but we'll get the back also. All right. And once everything is set, once both of them are saved, you want to go ahead and head back to Photopea and click File and then click Open. And I'm going to start with the front first. Click Upload. And y'all, for those that I remember, somebody had DM me and asked me, "Hey, how can you get your designs off of?" The Cricut Design Space over to another software, right? Or basically, just he was just trying to get his stuff off Cricut Design Space, and then put it somewhere else. So what you would do <clears throat> is we gonna you know let's fire up Cricut Design Space. Our projects. Save. Save. Yo, what are you doing? Okay. So basically what you do to get your designs off of Cricut Design Space onto a different software. What I do, me personally, is I'll come over here to where it says shapes. Right, and then I get a rectangle. And from the rectangle, what I do is I stretch it out Wait, is this a correct rectangle? No, it's this one. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's this one. All right, so I'm gonna delete this. That was a square tripping. Don't get on me, y'all. I've been out of, <laughs> I've been out of high school for a minute. What I'll do is I'll just basically size it up to whatever design I'm trying to do it. So this one, what I would do is 11, 11 and a half by three and a half. So 11 and a half. Unlock this three and a half and for those that already have their design and stuff like that Already set up and you don't need to do all of this then you just go straight to photopea or just watch You know for a little bit longer and we're gonna get you know, you gonna, you're gonna see or you can skip it's all up to you It's better to wait in my opinion you know what I'm saying always learning something new, but Once you already have this white background what you want to do is you want to send it to the back and what you want to do now is you want to take a screenshot 
sh oh shift command three all right boom right so you want to take a screenshot of your screen and then crop it out to only having the words on there right so basically like this and then if you're on a windows uh, device what you can do is oh my god i'm clicking the right wrong stuff yeah yeah <laughs> yo people are funny like when your mentality is on a different level jesus but like, y'all look if you have a windows device what you can do is you can uh go to the bottom where it says search and sniping tool i got y'all sniping tool and that's how you're able to do a screenshot right so pretty much uh, I have this screenshot right here. Click done. Now what you want to do is you want to go to remove BNG. Wait, hold on. Let me do this on the other. Bro, why does it keep doing this? All right, boom. So remove BNG. Remove dot BNG. I'm sorry. Click upload, and you're gonna go to your screenshot upload your screenshot and they're going to remove the background and you click download and there it is you see that so now we're just going to exit this out and we're going to do the same thing for all everything else so yeah Hey y'all, I'm back. I done downloaded everything. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put it on the hoodie. We're gonna make up this mock-up, all right? So once you saved everything with remove.bng, and you have everything already on file and stuff like that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to file and then click open and place. And then you're gonna drag whatever file that you have for that. And you're gonna put it on here, all right? So boom as y'all can see brought the digital hustlers in and now we're just gonna place it in the middle of the hoodie all right now this is white so i'm gonna change the color to white okay i'm gonna rasterize if i, I hope i said that word right this layer and now we're gonna get the bucket tool. All right, we're gonna get the bucket tool and we're just gonna click the words to make them white. No, <laughs> now if you mess up, then you can just go back one and then try it again. And just keep going man don't 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 trip if you mess up just go back and yeah there we go uh so once we're done with that now we're gonna put the dh dhs logo on the top now this is gonna look a little bit weird just because of how it is set up but i usually put it on the left side so it's just gonna be like a little, how can I say it? Yeah, we're just gonna put this here. We're not even gonna, re I'm not even gonna do too much here. I'm not even gonna do too much. I'm not even gonna like try to, you know, fit it to where it seems like it's actually on there. Cause y'all get the memo, y'all understand what's going on. And that's all we need. So DHS and that is pretty much the front y'all so yeah that's pretty much the front and that's all you have to do 
And now we're going to do the back. So now that you want to do the back, you click file, click open, red back. And now what I'm going to do simply is just place the stars and click file, open in place. Get the stars right here. And my stars are usually pink. So and I do that for a reason. It was breast cancer month. So, and like I said, but you know me, I read breast cancer throughout the whole, you know, year. It's not just in October. And that's from my mom, you know, she is the breast cancer survivor. Thanks to God. So it's a deeper meaning. I always forget to restaurize this sometimes, but yeah. So boom, now we just made, okay, the the pink is, the pink is a different color. I'm gonna just say that now. But that's pretty much, you know, how we just set up the back and stuff like that. And now what you wanna do for this, if you want to save it, you're gonna click save. It, yeah, you're gonna click export as, and you're gonna click PNG. And this, when you save it to yourself, when you send it to yourself, or when you post it on Instagram and stuff like that, then it's gonna be a you know clear background but what i like to do is i like to just layer it up on another app called pixart and that's pretty much how you're able to just you know do mock-ups and stuff like that for your laptop and your phone now pixart that might be a separate video if y'all do want that because that is another whole complex avenue that i'll have to get into but as y'all can see it's literally the same thing as uh, photoshop and yeah, y'all, red stars design. You know, save it. So now it's right here. And I can literally just airdrop this to myself. If you have a Windows, you can literally just email it to yourself. And yeah, y'all, that's pretty much how you do, you know what I'm saying? What you gotta do, man. Like, it's not that hard. I hope you do it. Enjoy this video. I gave y'all where to do y'all mock-ups, where to actually get the items for your mock-ups the brand bible.us i gave y'all where y'all can remove the background at and also where y'all can download it but i hope y'all did enjoy this video and the tips and the tricks that i gave y'all um i might do a video on how to do mock-ups on adobe photoshop also because i do have it so either way it goes y'all i got y'all either way hopefully you did enjoy this video and you got something out of it digital hustle is out for my traders y'all keep attacking these markets y'all know what it is man We'll catch on the next video. We out.